at times it feels like my mind is just completely fried and I feel like I just want to escape from having to do anything. In today's video, I'm going to talk about feeling overwhelmed because that is exactly how I have been feeling the past week. We all feel this way from time to time and it can feel really disorientating if you aren't able to come out of it easily. Lately, I've had a lot going on in my personal life as well as a really busy work week and so it's been really hard for me to find time to slow down amongst all of the chaos. Life is full of surprises and unexpected challenges and it can feel just like a never-ending series of events and it can become increasingly difficult to manage so many things at once. One thing I've learned in life is that it is filled with problems and it is essential to learn how to navigate them as they arise and to really try and choose the struggles that are worth struggling for. It's important to be able to learn how to focus on what matters to you and what actually brings your life joy and fulfillment. Whilst feeling overwhelmed this week, I have felt all kinds of things like brain frog, brain frog, see there you go, it's exactly my week. <laughs> I get things like brain frog, oh my god again. I get things like brain fog and sensory overload. I feel a lot more irritable and just generally sensitive to my surroundings. I start to get this sense of feeling like things just feel too difficult and I can't cope and I start to just feel lost. I then start to get all kinds of physical symptoms, which are things just like muscle tension and headaches, the tinnitus ringing in my ears gets louder, my vision even wigs out and I get things like stomach upset. So as you can imagine, all of these things combined makes for quite a shitty time. <laughs> When I've been trying to sit down and just do something lately, it feels like my brain is just so full, yet so empty all at once. It's like my brain is just fizzling out and just not functioning properly. My thoughts start to become unclear, simple tasks become even more challenging, and my overthinking gets more and more frequent. It is completely normal and okay to feel overwhelmed at times because that is just life, and the thing is, life can be just really fucking messy sometimes. For me, slowing down is definitely a challenge and knowing when to rest and find time to regain balance is crucial when it comes to personal growth and healing. It's not just about constant progress and improvement. Much of self-development seems to be focused on achieving goals and then constantly moving that goalpost and striving to be better and better and better. However, for me, self-growth is about having acceptance for where you are right now and having compassion for yourself. It's about embracing life's negative aspects and uncertainties and having self-responsibility and taking action when needed in your life. It's important to find ways to learn to let go and accept what is, especially when you are feeling overwhelmed. The thing is, sometimes you just need a break and a system reset and a good fucking sleep. So I'm going to show you five different things that I sometimes do when I'm overwhelmed and hopefully they could help you too. Don't feel like you have to do all five of these things, but you could just try one and see what works for you. So number one, write down what overwhelms you. Often I feel like it's as though my thoughts are sometimes flying around like how I would picture flies trapped in a jar. Putting your thoughts down onto paper can help get them out of your head and give you more mental clarity. So much of what we are often worried about all the time and feel overwhelmed by are things that are completely out of our control. So have a look at what you've written down and actually start to identify what is in your control and then start to form an action plan towards those things. Number two, do a body scan meditation and take some deep breaths. This is a mindfulness practice that involves systematically bringing your attention to different parts of your body from head to toe. The purpose of this kind of meditation is to bring awareness to your bodily sensations, promote relaxation, and just make a deeper connection between your mind and body. You know, sometimes you don't want to just sit there and meditate completely only with your own thoughts because that can make you feel more stressed. But by doing a kind of meditation that involves your body and mind, it can really bring your nervous system to a much more calm state. You can do this kind of meditation in two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, however long you want to spend. And I'd really recommend just Googling something online or YouTube because there's a lot of online resources that can help guide you through it, which I think is really helpful. Number three, spend time in nature. Nature provides a sense of scale that reminds us of how relatively small our place in the vastness of the universe and the world is. It reminds me that I am just this tiny speck on the planet and it makes me just feel like nothing matters in the best way. 
This shift in perspective can make us realize that our problems, although they are important to us, may not be as significant in the grand scheme of things. It can help us have a more balanced view of our problems and maybe reduce their impact. Spending time in nature has definitely been shown to have stress-reducing effects. Spending time in natural environments can actually lower our cortisol levels, which are a stress hormone, and even lower our heart rate and blood pressure and just promote relaxation. Being in nature also takes us away from the distractions in our daily lives, which might be work or technology or other stresses. This can allow us to bring us into the present moment and just enjoy the beauty and serenity of our surroundings. In this state of mind, we can definitely actually gain some more clarity and get more distance from our problems, making them feel less overwhelming. So go and get out there and go somewhere beautiful. <laughs> Number four, dance it out. And this obviously sounds like a weird one, but someone once said to me that emotion is energy in motion. So moving your body and releasing pent up energy can help you process emotions. Emotions are often stored in the body and it's hard to even know that they're there sometimes. So find a place where you're comfortable and alone and just close your eyes and pick three of your favorite songs and dance to them. Just let whatever feelings come up to arise and just laugh at yourself because you might feel like a total idiot, but who the fuck cares? <laughs> and number five, just unwind watching something that you love or reading a good book. I don't obviously think we should be aiming to distract ourselves all the time. However, there are times where you just need to let your brain switch off and enjoy something. For me, I've always found the TV show Friends really comforting, like a billion other people on the planet, but it has really just helped me feel more at ease and just generally relaxed. There is definitely nothing wrong with distracting yourself at times and sometimes it's actually necessary, but as long as you're actually processing your emotions as well, that's totally fine. So what should be quite clear by this point of the video is that it is very easy to let our circumstances take over us and to feel overwhelmed when things pile up on us in life. It's necessary to slow down and find balance and just reset your system. Even if you can just find a couple minutes in your day where you're able to just slow down and take a few deep breaths, that can make all the difference. If you have a pet that you love, go and hug and cuddle them because that definitely also feels really good. I'm really curious to hear from you if you have anything that you do when you're feeling overwhelmed. So if there's anything that you want to mention, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. In my next video, I'm going to talk about my OCD and I guess I'll show you just how cracked I really am. I will also be uploading a video soon of a grounding visualization technique, which I have found really helpful when I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed and need to find a way to let go of what I'm worried about. Have a great night or day wherever you are and please stay hopeful. Things will be okay.